today we're gonna get these lower abs on fire with this 10 minute beginner lower ab workout. So you do not need any equipment for this workout. There is no jumping, you just need a bit of room on the floor to lie down. So if you have a yoga mat, grab that. Otherwise move to the carpet or a towel will be fine as well. We are gonna go through 10 different exercises and we're gonna do each for 45 seconds on and take 15 seconds rest in between them. And it's gonna be easy to follow along, so just make sure you have that screen somewhere where it's easy to see. And let's get to it right now. Okay, up first we're gonna go down onto that mat and we are gonna think about tucking our hips under and tucking that belly to the floor as we lift our legs to a tabletop position. We are gonna pump these arms down by our side. We're gonna lift that knee up off the floor as well. And we're gonna exhale. Okay, this is called the Pilates 100. Here we go. So really engage that core. Exhale as you pull those arms down by your side. And let's pump those arms and really think about that core, okay? So if you want to challenge yourself today, you can lower those legs a little bit like this. Or you can just straighten them up above you like this. Or you can stay here as well and just focus on those abs and pumping those arms. Okay, make sure we're exhaling. Awesome work. Okay, give that neck a little bit of a rest. Take your hands under your bum like this. And we are gonna do flutter kicks. So we're gonna lower those legs a little bit because we have those hands under our bum. That's gonna help us, okay? And we're gonna do flutter kicks like this. Let's lift that knee cup if you can. And you can either speed this up or keep it nice and slow. But all the most important thing I want you to think about is sucking that belly button to the floor. Make sure those abs are engaged the whole time. So you can keep those legs up high. You can also bend those legs if you're finding that a little challenging and just work your way out to straight legs, okay? And then work your way to moving that a little quicker and keeping them as low and close to the floor as you can. Okay, here we go. Make sure you're breathing. If your neck gets tight, just release it to the floor for a little bit, but then come right back up. Okay, let's jump up to those feet. Next, we are gonna do some standing ab crunches. So we're gonna take those hands up. Crunch, crunch. Okay, and we're exhaling as we bring those knees to our chest. Here we go, guys. Make sure you're feeling it in those abs, okay? Crunch those knees to your chest. Reach up tall. Crunch. Really think about those abs. Make sure they are working, okay? You're doing awesome. Make sure you're smiling. Make sure you're breathing. Awesome work. Okay, stay standing up. Next up, we're gonna do an inch firm with toe touches. So we're gonna walk our way out like this. Thinking about engaging that core the whole time to get strong. And then we're gonna tap our hands to opposite toes. Okay, and then we're gonna walk our way back up. Reach the sky and back down. Okay, let's get moving. Let's keep that body moving. Let's think about staying strong throughout the whole movement. Okay, and when we're here, our core is engaged. We're pulling in and reaching with our hand, with our abs engaged, okay? Don't stop thinking about those abs. Make them work. Okay, keep with me. Stay moving. Okay, awesome work. Next up, we're gonna do some double arm and double leg crunches. So we're back on the floor. We're engaging that core. We're hip, tucking those hips under. Hands and feet are going out to wherever it feels comfortable. And we're coming in and out. And out. Okay. Wherever your legs can go, 
go. Then you go up. Just make sure that back is staying on the floor, okay? And just when you bring those knees to your chest and pull those hands down, you are exhaling, okay? Stay with me. Keep those arms and legs moving. Make sure those belly buttons are sucking to the floor. You can also do this with a bent knees if you need to. Awesome work. Okay, let's sit up here and we're going to do some seated mountain climbers. So it looks like this. Heels on the floor, sitting up nice and tall and we're bringing elbow to opposite knee. Okay, here we go guys. So, with this one we are thinking about twisting and really crunching those abs when we pull that elbow to our knee. Okay. Keep it moving. Make sure you feel it in those abs. If you don't, change your position and try it a little different. You can take those legs out a little further if you would like to. Stay with me. Make sure you're breathing. Awesome work. Okay, jump back up onto those feet. Next, we're gonna do some standing toe touches. So we're gonna use the same hand for the same foot, and we're gonna touch like this. Okay. If you can't reach your toe, just reach as far as you can. So, when you're doing this one, I really want you to think about hinging at those hips and crunching those abs. Make sure you're exhaling as you bring those feet to your, your hands. Okay, keep that body moving. Use those abs. Hinge at your hips. You can do it, stay with me. Only a few seconds left. Awesome work, okay. Up next, we're gonna do some mountain climbers. So, we're gonna start off in a high plank like this, and we're gonna bring that knee to our chest for two pulses, and then back out, and out. If you wanna do a little bit of a challenge today, you can make that a little faster. Okay, this will add intensity, keep that heart rate up as well. So I really think, really want you to still think about crunching those knees to your chest. Okay, don't stop moving. Most importantly, keep that body moving, keep that core engaged. If you just have to hold that high plank, just make sure you're thinking about those abs. If you need to give those arms a rest, just come down to your knees like this, but then get right back up. Awesome work. Okay, only a couple more exercises. Okay, so next, we are gonna sit like this, hands behind our neck, hips tucked under, abs suck to the floor. We're taking our feet out, out, in, in. Okay. This one, I really want you to think about keeping that back on the floor, okay? So, you can touch your abs if you need to, poke them, make sure they're working, okay? I know this doesn't look like much, but you should be feeling it in those abs, okay? Make sure you're still breathing. Make sure those abs are feeling that, okay? Just small movements with those legs. We have one more exercise to go and then we are done. So stay with me. Don't you go anywhere. Woo! Okay, get that. Make a rest. Give that those abs. Keep them engaged. Tuck those hips under. Bring those feet up. Our final exercise is butt lift. So hands by your side. We are gonna lift that butt off the floor. Okay, so I know this might be challenging for some of you, but just give it a try. 
Think about driving those heels and feet to the sky. Okay, and lifting that butt off the ground. You're using your lower abs here to get those feet off the floor. If you need to bend your knees and do it like this, that's fine. And then work towards making those legs straight and just think about driving as high to the ceiling as you can. Okay, don't give up. If you need to slow it down a little bit, that's totally fine. Let's finish strong. Let's get those abs on fire. Come on. Woo! Awesome work. You guys are amazing. I'm so proud of you. You should feel it in those abs today. I hope you guys do. Let me know how you did in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you're hitting that big subscribe button and turning on those notifications. There's lots of new content coming out and I would love to see you back here again soon. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Bye. Just watch me break.